I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. The Marion County Coroner has released the names of two girls who died after being pulled from a Greenwood retention pond. They were 13 year old Rosia Meng and 11 year old Paul Lin. Indiana conservation officers have said the girls became separated Wednesday night from a group that was playing in the pond at the Clearbrook subdivision in Greenwood and then failed to resurface. Two people died Friday after being pulled out of a car that went into a retention pond near a Brownsburg warehouse. There were four people in the car, all employees at Radial Corporation, which is right next to the pond. The driver and front seat passenger, both females, got stuck when it went into the water. Two passengers in the back managed to escape. Investigators say video of the incident shows two vehicles were following each other and one was going too fast, causing it to go into the water. We're following developments at a West Side hotel that forced residents out, giving them no prior notice. The Oyo Hotel is located near Indianapolis International Airport. On Thursday, residents were told to pack up and get out, and many of them had no place to go. On top of that, their utilities have been shut off, and it was, you know, 96 degrees outside. So um, it was kind of a chaotic situation, and so immediately started de-escalating. Um, and then the resources started coming. Now crews from across the city, including Indigo, Wheeler Mission, IMPD and more are helping protect them. The Indianapolis Office of Public Health and Safety will be on site at the hotel through at least June 24th, helping residents apply for Indy rent assistance. A company called Yas Investment LLC owns Oyo Hotel. We called and emailed and went to the property looking for answers. The owner was not on site and did not answer the phone. The email provided on the LLC. LLC's website bounced back.